Hi, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is my first video and I thought I'd review the Gymshark Sleek uh, Gym Bag. This be interesting, this is my first ever sort of vlog. Be interesting to see where this channel goes. Really it's going to be about exercise, fitness, health, uh, mainly running I guess, maybe a bit of gym stuff and some swimming. Basically I need to get fit. So, so before delving into the bag too much, which is the Gymshark Sleek, I guess it's probably worth talking about what I was looking for in a gym bag, why I've opted to go for the gym bag, uh, Gymshark Sleek. So it's worth saying I'm very much a beginner in the gym. I'm not going to be carrying lots of stuff. I don't need a weightlifting belt, for example. I might need some gloves, uh, grips in, in due course, but not yet. Uh, and basically, probably the only thing that I'm carrying into a gym is a pair of headphones, knee sleeves uh, for squatting. So yeah, the kind of things that I'm looking to take into the gym pair of knee sleeves, some headphones, earphones, a padlock for the locker, particularly if I'm going to a different gym to the one that I normally go to, uh, some shower gel, deodorant, a towel, uh, a water bottle, and I will try, I, I normally have a one litre Camelback water bottle, but I will try in the bag with a protein shake from the standard one, as well as that one litre Camelback, uh, just to show you how it works. Very occasionally, uh, I'm going to use this as a work bag as well. There's one of the gyms is just around the corner from work, so I might tie the two together before going into work. I normally work from home, so it's not going to be a normal problem. Uh, and so therefore, I'd be looking for a change of clothes, something that can hold, handle a change of clothes, mainly a polo shirt, a pair of jeans, something like that. Uh, also, would need to take my laptop and my laptop charger. I've got a 17-inch laptop. I'm a software developer, so it's quite a bulky laptop. Be interesting to see if that fits in. And then finally, obviously, stuff like wallets and work pass. So the bag itself is a Gymshark Sleek bag. Cost me £40 in August of 23. Uh, I actually went in store. I happened to be in London uh, yesterday. And so ended up buying it from their Regent Street store, just down the road from Oxford Circus. I suppose, the, not quite sure how I'd describe this material, but it's sort of a rubbery, sort of black finish. Uh, I think it's going to get marked quite easily would be the only thing that I would say, but it looks really quite nice. I think the rubber finish should allow it to stay waterproof. So looking at the bag itself, it's got really sort of five main compartments to it, I would say. The first one's a, on the front, it's sipped, and it's quite a sort of small compartment, but about the size of my hand really, but fairly ideal for the headphones, for the padlock, a uh, little bit of money, and I would imagine my wallet and my work pass, etc. As, as I go through there. It's got another pocket. This time it's almost full length, so much bigger. Uh, easily going to fit in a pair of knee sleeves into the front there. Could do up. Could also probably put a charger in there, a power bank in the front, small pocket, etc. Coming to the big main compartments, it's just got a single main big compartment. open that up probably going to be very difficult to see but it's just one big compartment uh, it does have a insert that is probably suitable for an iPad or a Kindle or a notebook or something like that but really the main essence of this is the one big pocket I imagine that's where my towel's going to go uh, my change of clothes etc when traveling into work etc and anything else I might need to carry Finally on the front at the bottom, there's another pocket here and this is more of a sort of wet compartment so I would imagine used towel could go in there. Uh, I also imagine that the feet, uh, my shoes, my trainers are going to fit into there uh, and so that's another option. And then on the back of the backpack there's a laptop sleeve, a laptop opening. As I said before I've got a 17 inch laptop and it fits very snugly in. Uh, if, it's in. if you've got a laptop that's bigger than 17 inches, I wouldn't be looking at this bag, but it takes it quite easily. I also think this would be a really good pocket to put your passport in, something like that, if you were traveling. You know, that's sitting snug to your back. That'd be a safe place to keep your wallet or your passport, etc. The laptop also has two side water bottle holders. Uh, I've got a one liter Camelback, uh, standard water bottle on the larger side uh, and that 
it does fit in, but it doesn't feel very secure. So the pockets don't seem to be the biggest. And indeed, if I hold it upside down, and give it a little shake, that water bottle will come out. So it's probably all right for normal use, but it doesn't feel like it's in very well. Grabbing a kind of generic protein shake size bottle, that certainly goes in and it holds in place quite easily. I'm totally happy with that staying in place all the time. And it sort of holds in place a little bit of the rubbery material as well that gives it a bit of friction. So it feels a bit strange doing a review of a bag that I haven't even used yet, but I think the reasons that I bought it was it's quite simple. It's got two main pockets and then the big compartment. Uh, I've used other bags that have got lots of pockets before and I thought that would help me be really organised but actually you end up going through every single pocket trying to find the thing that you're after so just having two pockets small things slightly larger things and then the main component for bat, for clothes and, and towels etc I think that's going to work really well and then the option to be able to carry a laptop into work should I need to use this for work it's probably smart enough for work as well that black sort of contrast feels okay uh, so let's see how it goes uh, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end here, I'll post a link down to the Gymshark bag that I've reviewed today in the description. And other than that, I look forward to doing some more videos in the future.